Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna share my super secret four-step formula to creating almost every eye look I do. It's a really fantastic way to do your makeup quickly and easily without too much hassle or trouble. Today, I am using these four shades of eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics. They are four of the shades that I use all the time in my everyday makeup, but I really just wanna share with you guys the basics of this super simple formula that can be translated into any shades, any color combination, any part of the rainbow to give you whatever look you desire, starting with this view as four shades. The key to this formula comes in two parts. The first part is how to pick your colors. The second part, is in what order to apply them. Today, I've lined up these four shades in order of application to give you an idea. First, we have our transition shade. Second, we have our lid shade. Third, we have our crease shade. And fourth, we have our tight crease or outer corner shade. I am showing you the neutral brown look that I am wearing today, but the same formula could apply to a bronzy look. Transition shade, lid shade, crease shade, and outer corner or deep crease shade. The same goes for a smoky look. Transition shade, lid shade, crease shade, and outer crease or deep V shade. As you probably guessed, my transition shade is the same for almost any look that I create. I use this particular shade because it is very similar to my skin tone and the natural shadows in my face. Of course, you don't have to use eyeshadow singles like I have here. You can use a palette or colors that you already have. You can even use four different shades from four different palettes. I like to keep things easy and keep all of my favorite shades together. This is a Sephora Collection empty palette. It has a nice mirror. You can also purchase quad palettes, which are about this big from MAC Cosmetics as well as Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know lots of brands carry them. Today for my neutral look, I have four shadows from MAC Cosmetics. The bronze shadows I showed you were all from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The smoky gray shades that I showed you were a mix of Sephora Collection and MAC Cosmetics. Sephora Collection individual shadows are $8. MAC Cosmetics individual shadows are $7. Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows are $12 a piece unless you buy them in sets of four. Of course, you can choose the four shades yourself. They do not come curated, but if you purchase four at the same time with an empty quad palette, you get the palette for a dollar and the shades for $8 each. I know I just showed you three very basic looks, your natural nude, your bronze goddess, and your smoky silver. But you can also apply this formula to pinks, greens, blues, purples, any shade that your heart desires. Just use your transition shade in your crease, a lighter shade on your lid, a bit of a darker shade in your crease, followed by your darkest shade in your outer crease or your deep V. Feel free to go wild with your looks. Let me know in the comments below what colors you are wanting to use or what you think of this method. Before I get started sharing today's look with you, as well as the rest of my super easy formula for fantastic eyeshadow, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when I launch a new video. Let's get started. The first thing I do before any eye look is to prime my lids with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. You can apply this with your fingers, however, I use an eyeshadow brush. Priming your lids not only helps the shadows stick longer and wear better, but can also help your colors to blend and increase the color payoff. The first step to creating a fantastic eye look is using a transition shade. I apply my transition shade with a large fluffy brush like the Pro Featherweight Crease Brush from Sephora. I use the shade Kid by MAC Cosmetics for my transition shade in almost every eye look I create. Although my second, third, and fourth shades change depending on the look I'm wanting to create. I apply my transition shade by taking my brush to the outer corner of my eye and following my natural eye socket in small windshield wiper type motions. Since you'll be applying eyeshadow over this transition shade, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just giving your eyeshadow a great backdrop. When selecting your transition shade, I suggest a lighter neutral color that mimics the shadows that naturally occur on your face. You're not wanting to add a lot of color, you just want to start adding a little bit of that depth and dimension. For my second step when creating a natural look, I take a lighter color, usually with a hint of shimmer or satin, and place it all over my lid with a flat eyeshadow brush like this one from MAC. Of 
Of course, you could use a matte, a satin, or a shimmer shade on your lid, but for a natural everyday look like the one we are creating today, I really love a shade with a bit of shimmer or satin to it, like this one, which is Dazzle Light from MAC Cosmetics. I really love that with such a natural look, it can give me a little bit of a glow. For my third step, I take a mid-tone neutral like this one, Hoax from MAC Cosmetics, and I apply it to my crease with a smaller fluffy eyeshadow brush in the same windshield wiper motions. Although I do love a satin shimmer or glitter for my lid, I do not usually use a sparkle shimmer or glitter shade in my crease. Since we're using our makeup to define our crease and manipulate shadows and light, I prefer to keep that crease as a shadow and keep it matte. The one time I would add a little bit of sparkle to my crease is if I'm doing a super glittery look or a monochromatic look with a sparkle or shimmer lid, I might pull a tiny bit of that sparkle or shimmer out a little bit to blend out that crease. But if you have a very neutral eye, a very light eye, or a very matte eye, I would stay away from the shimmers in the crease. Fourth and final step for eyeshadow would be to go in with my darkest shade. For today, I have Brown Down from MAC Cosmetics and I will apply it to the outer corner of my crease with a small crease brush. When applying this fourth and final shade, I always try to stick in the outer corner of my eye, just making a little bit of a V, pulling that color in and up when needed, but keeping the color very much concentrated in that outer V, creating a nice depth and shadow that can really brighten up your eye. And that's it. That's my four simple step formula to creating fantastic eyeshadow looks. I'm going to go put on the rest of my face and I'll be back to finish things up. And I'm back with my final look. I really love how simple and easy it is to create a fantastic eyeshadow look with just four simple shadows. And it's such an easy formula that can be repeated with other shades and other colors. Just knowing where to apply your colors and in which order can make a big difference in your look. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of this four-step formula to a perfect eyeshadow look. Let me know in the comments below if there is another shade or color or range of colors that you would like to see with this four-step look. I'm happy to help guide you in your makeup journey. I'd love to hear if there are any other trends you guys want me to try, products you want me to try, brands I need to check out. I absolutely love being here with you guys. If you enjoy hanging out with me, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I launch a new video, and I will see you guys next time.